And you guys obviously chose um, Sirolimus, you know, mainly because of its ability to sort of focus in on this mTOR pathway. But um, I was kind of curious, there's obviously a handful of other approved, not too, too much, but there's a handful of other approved therapies for TSC. So is there any chance that we explore any other types of combinations um, that you could see, you know, potentially working, you know, whether that's a, a combination approach or just one specific type of drug, is there been any other thoughts as to other drugs that could potentially work in this type of trial? There's, there's, there's certainly the possibility exists. Uh, the challenge has been is how do you know which one or or multiple candidates of the 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 plethora of epilepsy targeting treatments we might have available that offer different mechanisms for targeting those, including, like, as you mentioned, several that have been specifically evaluated in TSC and shown to be effective. Now, what we have done uh, in some of those trials, uh, patients could not be on mTOR inhibitors, so uh, we, we, we could not make that assessment directly based on uh, data that may be available within those trial settings. Um, and then in other uh, studies that we've done with mTOR inhibitors to treat brain tumors or even to treat epilepsy, we, we have a, attempted to look at maybe is there any favorable combinations that by chance patients happen to already be on when they start the trials. And, and until, uh, at least at this point, uh, the trials just haven't been big enough uh, for us to see that signal to say, hey, this combination works better. I think also it really exposes something that really applies to epilepsy in general, is that we understand a lot of the key components that lead or drive somebody to have epilepsy. But the fact is, is that we've been discovering new drugs to treat epilepsy over the last 20 years, yet our refractory or our patients that are resistant to getting adequate seizure control has pretty much remained the same. So there is some mechanism involved in how somebody becomes an epileptic patient, meaning they have recurrent seizures, that we haven't quite put all the pieces together to understand how to adequately treat that. We're missing something. Um, and I would say that still applies to TSC. There's something mechanistically that we haven't scientifically figured out. And when we figure that out, then hopefully we can say, we won't have a 50 percent uh, uh, non-responder rate, but maybe we can get, you know, push that to maybe it's less than 10 percent. Um, we we think in the meantime, and maybe even despite that, it still makes sense to go after the disease itself than the mechanisms of epilepsy, particularly right now when we don't have a full grasp of what those mechanisms are, then uh, it makes sense for us to go after the disease itself, which is really the core uh, driving principle of TSC steps.